Kind of. It kind of worked. Oh, hi there. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. You're tuned into Slumber Party Club! <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking about fear. <laughs> Spooky. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid of werewolves. Ooh, werewolves? Werewolves. Oh, I can... Lycanthropes. Don't liken that. <laughs> I don't liken them. I don't liken them. I, don't liken them. <laughs> I like like werewolves is scary because that that hallway tube sequence in American Werewolf in London where it just oh yeah you can't outrun oh, it. No, yeah. no, it's impossible. You're just dead. Like if it's chasing you, it can run. It's like a the fear of a cheetah. <laughs> Do you think that's a really primal fear, though? What's it? What's oh the fear? A fear of a cheetah? Like a fear? <laughs> I, was, I, I thought you were talking about what cheetahs are afraid of. No, cheetahs, <laughs> cheetahs are only afraid of one thing. Wait. Not enough cheese. Oh! <laughs> it's that that smiles back. Wrong product. It's, oh, I know. Um, I had a reoccurring night. Recurring. Why do I keep saying reoccurring? Is it not reoccurring? I've been saying that my whole life. Recurring. I think it's potato, potato, potato. It's not potato. Recurring. Potato. It's There's a right way. Recurring. 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 Anyway. Recurring. I know. I had this nightmare when I was a kid that uh, it was about this guy named the Root Man, and he was a guy who came over as a di guest dinner party guest in my dream, just with me and my family, and he would sit down at the table and then all of a sudden he'd go <laughs> and then sprout sprouted I was wondering where the roots were going to come into play. Uh, yeah, roots and leaves and branches. Because it was just a dinner party. <laughs> it was a recurring nightmare where Questlove came over to your house. <laughs> the root, the root man! man. <laughs> and, then he would, and then he would chase us around the house and then murder my family one by one. Do you guys ever die in a dream? You obviously did. All the time. Yeah. Um, the Even last to time, this day. The last time I died in a dream, I had, I had a recurring dream when I was younger. It, it always involved my dad getting murdered. And it was, um, but the world that we were in was like we were shrunk down, and like the buildings were like milk cartons, and like it's like we lived in a tiny world. And there was this biker gang that would come through and just ransack the neighborhood, and every single time they would just shoot my father. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. So I had this dream where I was being chased by zombies. And I had that dream the night that I went over to my friend's house and watched him play Resident Evil 2. <gasps> Let's play Ghosts and Goblins! Land party. Alright, time to play Ghosts and Goblins. You wanna just do two player mode? No, let's do one player. Let's just let's just uh What's the third mysterious option? What is that? Do, do, do. Did you have to watch that little map screen? That's yeah. the worst thing about playing this over and over. Is that you constantly get taunted by how early on you still <laughs> <Yes>. are. <laughs> Laugh. There it is! Oh, there it is. Yes. Oh! You, oh! you had it! I know. The jumping physics in this game oh, are like... Right there. Games now where you can sort of alter how far you're gonna jump. It's like a jump. jump. Yeah. Yeah. This like as soon as you jump, it carries out that path regardless. Mm -hmm. But this game you makes you do some trick jumps to proceed. It does. I was always afraid of just the blackness of it. You know, like uh, it's just so dark and grim looking. The whole game is so grim. The key, baby! Okay, then there's the first trick jump. And it just drops, right? And, no, uh, and this is the check next checkpoint. Point. Yes. Good. So this is where the hotel... Yeah. Is where the bats come out in random ones? Yes. I hate this. <laughs> Get out of there, the other guy's gonna poo spit down on you. Oh! oh! Narrow miss! That was beautiful. I'm getting double teamed. That was really good, though. God. 
That's the thing about games that are this hard, though, is every once in a while you get the you get one just right, and it makes you feel like a I'm fucking god. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here get comes, out, here comes the horrible red bird. Oh, the red that bird. Just that dive bomb. No. Oh. Okay. okay. Here it comes. Amazing! Wait for the platform, okay. Red bird. Oh! You got it! Okay, you can do this. You can do this. Woo! Jump high. Ah! Stay low! Oh my god! Yes! Holy shit! Holy shit! I need to... You need to be done? I was very mad. Oh. Took the wind out of me. Yeah. <laughs> but the wind. Oh <laughs> yeah. What are you? This is a face in a fear moment. Don't do it. Oh. You guys, you seen any uh, scary movies lately? I was never afraid of supernatural films or stuff like that, like ghosts or like demons and stuff. I was always very afraid of home invasion stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It's too real. To I. It's just instilled. Complete honest fear in my brain. Totally, as a kid. me too. And like, like uh, anything psychological, like a yeah. psychological thriller is like. like Black Swan, or like. <laughs> like any pretty much dirty Black Swan or not? Oeuvre. Oeuvre. Uh, oh. Same for me as a kid. Monsters were cool. Monsters, icky stuff was cool. Sweet. Yeah. And like real human malice terrifies me. Scary. <laughs> Um, what speaking scary, of home infusion. Yeah, infusion? Like, what, scary I like to infuse with, my home with love. Yeah, speaking of <laughs> essential oil infusions. <laughs> I said infusion! More like confusion. No, you beat me to it! No! <laughs> I was so close! I was like... <laughs> <laughs> you can do it still. No, I don't want to anymore. When you said speaking of home invasion stuff, I want to see if we mind melded that. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yes. Name the movie. That you were thinking. Okay. One, One two, two, three, scream! Oh, no. You guys want to talk about scream? Because I have some thoughts on scream. Scream was a movie released in 1996, written by Kevin Williamson, directed by Wes Craven. Now, Scream spawned so many imitators. First of all, uh, I know what you did last summer, and if you'll notice on the box here, it actually says uh, from the writer of Scream, and at the at the bottom it says more laughs and chills than Scream. Urban Legend, uh, which came out in the next few years after Scream as well, on the back a hip talking horror film along the lines of Scream. You have Idle Hands, at Teaching Mrs. Tingle, Disturbing Behavior, The Faculty, also scripted by Kevin Williamson, uh, Final Destination. Uh, oh. Here's the thing, Halloween H2O, uh, Jason X, those in turn revitalized the franchises that Scream was referencing. Now Sydney Prescott is the main character played by Nev Campbell. Her mother, Maureen Prescott, was murdered. Sydney's mom was punished for being promiscuous. In Scream, there's all these things about the rules of a horror movie. One of them being that you cannot have sex or you die. However, Sydney breaks that rule by having sex with her boyfriend, who's also the killer, surviving it and then killing him. Sydney breaks the misogynistic standards set by horror films. Scream is the perfect collision of witty teen writing and veteran horror. It results in all these copycats. The success of that genre boom and those copycats inspires old franchises that were influences for Scream to come back and do sequels. That in turn leads to remakes being made of other franchises, which in turn leads to Scream 4. And that is why Scream, through its legacy, intentional or not, is genius. And Scream, intentionally, as a standalone horror movie about horror movies, is genius, fun, scary as hell, and awesome. And that's all I have to say about Scream. <laughs> Oh. Let's call someone cool! Hey Devin, want a Boogie Wonderland? Yeah, sure, I'll be there. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, this is my friend Devin. Hi, Hi Devin. Devin! Hi. What do you do? 
Uh, well, I'm a writer. I am a sometimes director. I perform in a group called Sugar Water Purple. Sugar Water Sugar Purple. Purple. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yeah. It's pretty good. Mm. Well, Devin, we, earlier we were talking about our um, our weirdest fears. Mm -hmm. Like ones that are just irrational and crazy bonkers and nuts out. What are you afraid of, Stephanie? Okay, my biggest weirdest fear is um, having a chandelier fall onto my head. What? And crush me. Where did that come from? Fan of the Opera? Cartoons? No. <laughs> cartoons. Oh, cartoons. Yeah. yeah. How old were you when you saw the War of the Roses? If you ever Net saw zero. it. Zero. Okay. Because there's a lot of chandelier there's play in it. Really? Is there a lot of it? That's Danny DeVito directed that, right? Yeah. He was like, action. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you do Danny DeVito walking into, okay, you're Danny DeVito, okay. and you're walking into a Bed Bath & Beyond, mm -hmm. and you go up to the clerk, mm -hmm. and you're trying to find soft sheets. <laughs> Alright? Okay. Go ahead, I'll be the clerk. Okay. Danny DeVito? Uh, first question, what are all those smells? Uh, that's the beyond part of the store. Oh, good God. Yeah. I'm looking for some sheets. Oh, yeah. That's in the bed part of the story. I'm I'm playing I'm playing a ghost in Matilda too. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he also direct Matilda? Action! <laughs> Jonah, you had one, but we you wouldn't tell us. Yeah, because cause like it's like before Devin got here, you wouldn't oh, tell us. Okay, no, because I want everyone to I want everyone to see Jen in action. Uh, my weirdest fear is it's actually not that crazy. I'm afraid that a sniper is like on perch, <laughs> ready to just send a bullet through my head. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so if I'm in an open spot, I'll just think in my mind like, wow, a bullet could just go through me at any point in time. Like in the field? <laughs> yeah, just, like, also, if he's a good sniper, he could do it from like a mile away. You're right. Him. Well, Devin, what's yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah Devin, what's yours? yours? Yeah, I can tell you. So the top one is witnessing a face come off. Did you ever watch uh, that old French horror movie, Eyes Without a Face, about the mad scientist? Who... Could, couldn't do it. Uh, what about Face Off? Nope. Because someone told me there's a like very vivid part where they're taking their faces. Oh, yeah. I mean, but it's medical science. It's not like gory. It's like a procedure with lasers. It's, and... it's still scary. It is scary. It bothered me as a kid. But I think that I was comforted by the fact that I was like, these doctors know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like watching a very realistic face removal is worse. We gotta do the thing. We're gonna do this. Since you have a fear of your of a face being removed, mm -hmm. we're gonna make you face yeah. fear. Sounds good. <laughs> Most of what I heard. I feel great. You might not know oh, this about yeah. our friend Devin, but he knows everything every about Batman. Everything about, about Batman. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Um. Yeah. Tenured Batman Studies professor. PhD. A Batman Hayden degree. Oh. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Are you guys ready to take our masks off? Yes. Yeah. Devin, you gotta look at us when we take these off because you have to face oh, your face. Yeah. yeah, you have okay. to look at us. Who's gonna start? I'll go. See, there's something nice under that. It's, oh. it's, not, so, oh. it's not scary when it's just a pleasant thing. It's not just like musculature. <laughs> All right, now, Devin, you have to look into that camera and take off your mask. And say, and say, Viori. <laughs> I want to take his face off. Well, do, do Dan DeVito doing a Nicholas Cage. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay, uh, let's see. Hi, guy. God, just put our mask back on, and uh, we just want to say thanks, Devin, for coming to our slumber party. Thanks, sure. Devin. Thanks, Devin. You're welcome. You are you are welcome. That's what it is. You're welcome because this was a great uh, travesty. <laughs> That's our show. Get, Get some, some sleep. sleep.